complain. But did they grumble? Did they complain? No, 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 no. Instead they sang. They sang a hymn at midnight with shackles on their hands. And suddenly they shook and shook and an earthquake shook the land. The shackles that I found it fell down to the ground. And fell inside and stood up and walked around. When they saw the jailer all trembling with fright, they shouted out, We are all here! And he called for a light. The day the Lord had mercy, set Paul and Silas free, and saved the jailer and his family. So when you're facing trouble and your heart seems to fail, remember Paul and Silas singing in the jail. The Lord will surely help you. When on his name you call And use your troubles to help us one and all Let us pray Thank you for this day As we are going to do the children's sermon Please help us to be good friends and good guys In Jesus' name I pray, Amen Amen, amen. But at midnight, midnight Paul and Silas Were praying and singing hymns to, to God and the other prisoners were listening to them. Hmm. What a wonderful verse. That is our key text. From which book? Acts chapter 16, verse 25. A beautiful story of Paul and Silas preaching the word of God, but the story gets sad and sad as they are arrested. You know what? It is a beautiful ending because they are freed from prison. Call it there, a little introduction here. We are the platoons, primary A class. It is our privilege and honor to bring this children summer. With me here is Andy, Steph, Gracie, and his Felix. I'm teacher, Steve. Now back to our story of Paul and Silas. Thinking about it, Paul was never to preach in Philippi, but he found himself preaching in Philippi. Mm -hmm. Andy. How did Paul find himself preaching in Philippi? Had a vision that a man telling him to come and preach in Macedonia. Oh, Paul had a vision of a man telling him to come to Macedonia and help them preach. And as Christians, we have that wonderful hymn, the Macedonian call. Did he go? Mm -hmm. Did Paul go? Yes, Gracie? Paul went to, to, to Macedonia. Oh, immediately? Paul arose, prayed for the journey, and left. Do you know what? When he went there, one Sabbath, they were by the riverside. That was the custom to go and pray there. And as they were going to pray, a lady, a slave girl, followed them. And this slave girl had the spirit of divination. Do we understand that? Spirit of divination. Do we know? Steph? The spirit of divination uh -huh. is when you can tell the future. She could foretell the future, and the masters took advantage of her and used her to make a lot of money. But Paul and Silas were very kind to this girl. You know what Paul and Silas did? You know what they did? What Paul did? Hey, Andy? They, they said, in the name of Jesus Christ, get out that Oh, that Paul spirit. commanded the spirits in the name of Jesus, and they left the girl. And suddenly the girl was quiet because the girl had been healed. So Paul did very good things to this girl, Paul and Silas. Do we love it when people are kind to us? Yes. Do we like it? Yes. But you know what? Paul and Silas were very kind to this girl. But not everybody was happy. So they said, we are going to do bad things to Paul and Silas. You know what they did? Do you know what did they do? They grabbed them and then they dragged them to a marketplace and then they brought them to face the authorities. Oh no. They grabbed these people, took their outer garments, they scorched them, they whipped them. Then they brought them with a charge that these people, they are preaching things that we, the Romans, can't believe. Then they handed them over to, to who? To who? To who, Andy? A jailer. To a jailer to take care of them. And then the jailer placed them where? Which part of the, of the jail? Yes, Gracie? The inner part of the jail. Oh, the most inner part of the jail so that they could not escape. And then they were kept there. And now this jailer 
fastened their feet tight, tight, tightly, and the hands, and they were in a discomforting position, and now they were crying, they were crying. But this night, you want to talk about, it was not the usual night. You know what they did? Can you guess what they did? Esther? They started praying and singing hymns to God. Oh, like our key text. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. But the other jailers were listening to them. So this night, it was the unusual one. So the jailer said, ah, every day it has been them weeping, weeping. But for today, people who are tired, do you never point? Mm-hmm. Speak. When they were singing hymns to God, mm-hmm. the other prisoners were listening, and then they asked for themselves, how can these people sing when they have been whipped? People who have been whipped, people who are, their outer garments have been taken out, they have been tied. How can they pre- sing praises to God? But now they kept singing, and, and suddenly, 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 <laughs> Andy. Suddenly. An earthquake came to the earth and some towers fell down. Oh, Andy has seen earthquake. But I don't understand earthquake. Oh, help me understand. What's an earthquake? Uh, something which shakes in the earth. Oh, the earth was shaking in the middle of the night. It was shaking. And all of a sudden, the doors threw open and the windows and everything. But let us go back to the jailer. So the jailer. The jailer. Uh-huh. The jailer was from sleeping. Mm-hmm. So the jailer woke up, did see Paul. So the jailer thought they had escaped. Reached out to his sword and. Uh-huh. He planned to kill himself, mm. but he had a voice from the prison saying, Shouting? Stop! Oh. Do not do any harm on yourself. Uh-huh. And then he became happy, and then he took them to his house, and then his uh-huh. entire hold it, family. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Very good point. Vijana shouted, hey, we are all here. Then took Paul and Silas outside, and then asked Paul and Silas a question. A question, yes, Steph. How to be saved? Oh, sus, what can I do to be saved? I don't know whether there was an answer or not. Was there a crazy? He said, eh? believe in God oh. and you will be saved. You believe in God and you will be saved. I don't know whether he believed, did he? Oh, Andy. He believed and his entire family was ah, after Wait. Believe in God and you will be saved. So he believed and him, and he says, and his entire family was saved. After Paul and Silas Share the word of God with them, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering, <laughs> Gracie? Lydia also invited them to the, uh, her home. Oh, we are coming to Lydia. Just back here, Junior. They were called and then when they learned that they were mm-hmm. Roman mm-hmm. citizens, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they became afraid. And then the magistrates apologized. But now, can you, can you revisit the position of the jailer, Paul and Silas singing in prison? Can you revisit? Yes. If you ask me how they prayed, I don't know what, song, what prayer they made in the prison. Was it the Lord's Prayer? Which song did they sing in the prison? Was it an Old Testament hymn? Oh, the Lord is my shepherd. I don't know. Gracie, might you have any idea what these people sang in the prison? I don't know, but I think they were singing Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice Rejoice in the Lord always and again No, 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 no. I think they were singing I'm happy today, so happy In Jesus' name I'm happy They were singing Jesus took my body and turned on them in the sea and roll them in the sea, and roll them in the sea. Oh, Jesus took my burdens, and roll them in the sea, never to remember anymore. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Whichever song, whichever prayer they made there, what I know is prayer and song, very, very powerful. It's one of the tools you can use as children to minister or reach out to fellow children. Are you people in Gulares Choral? Yes. yes. Oh, you sing there. 
Yes, all the songs we have learned there we can use to reach out to fellow children. Now let's fast forward and see how they were released from jail. Were they released from jail? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about the magistrates. The magistrates sent word and said, set those people free. And when they heard, they complained. They said, mm -mm -mm -mm. you know what they say? They say no because they didn't want to get a fair trial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Junior. But did they, did they say these people scourged us publicly? <laughs> they said, you scourged us publicly. You have beaten us publicly. Now you want us to live secretly. No, no, no. We will not live secretly. What a point. So they called the magistrates and they came. And you know what? The magistrates also learned that Paul and Silas were Romans. And so they apologized to them because they had mistreated them before. They apologized to them and they left and went to leader's place. You remember we mentioned leader? Yes, they went to leader's place and there they encouraged the brethren and then they also left. Now let's finish. We have learned several lessons. Many, 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 many. But I want just around three. Mm -hmm. Who go first? Junior. What lesson have we learned from this story of Paul and Silas? Nothing is impossible. Oh, nothing is impossible with the Lord. He's the Lord of all flesh. Imagine, they were tied in jail midnight, but they sang hymns to God and prayed, and the doors were open, and they came out. Ah, do you have another lesson? Yes. Please, tell us. That nothing can beat prayer and hymns in our hearts. That nothing can beat prayer and hymns from our hearts. Mm -hmm. These people, Paul and Silas, after being scourged and put in prison over there, in the dark of the night, they could still afford to sing praises to God and pray, and they were delivered. Gracie, you see, all these people listening to us and those watching, some of them are parents, and they too are children for, for God, of God. Please, do you have a message for them? Now, parents, remember when you're facing trouble and your heart is and your heart seems to fail. Remember Paul and Silas singing in the jail. The Lord will surely help you when you call on his name. God, God is our refuge and strength. And ever present and in trouble. God is our refuge and strength. And ever present and in trouble. God is our refuge and strength, and ever present and in troubles. God is our refuge and strength, and ever present and in troubles. And ever present and in troubles. And ever present and in troubles. Let's pray. And loving Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you as we end our children's sermon. Thank you for helping us understand about Paul and Silas. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, children, now, children, meet us next Sabbath. Meet us next Sabbath. But See you there for now. now.